Hi there, welcome to my views and news. So we should I have one new story for you. This new story is about the Ethiopian troops that are deployed in Somalia. So what is now Somalia saying about those troops? As I told you that uh, two days ago, the Hussein Sheikh, the security advisor of uh, Somalia, he gave a speech in which he told that that Ethiopian troops have, will have to leave by the end of the year from Somalia and Ethiopia will not be an ally and cannot be an ally. And so that uh, so it means that it seems that some uh, some are opposing the decision of Hussein Sheikh. Who are opposing? Like what happened? Our tales free about that. So let's start. So we'll let me clear. Uh, about the speech, what has uh, Hussein Sheikh said? Hussein Sheikh is basically uh, the security advisor of Ethiopia or Somalia, actually. So now uh, he gave a speech. He said uh, that Ethiopia cannot be an ally and will not be an ally. Second thing he said that Ethiopian troops will have to leave Somalia by the end of the year. They will have to leave. After that, Anthony Blinken, U.S. Secretary of State, called Hassan Sheikh. He talked two things. He said two things to Hassan Sheikh. First, he said that we all should uh, fight together against Al Shabaab. All the real countries should fight together against Al Shabaab um, because many Ethiopian soldiers are deployed in uh, Ethiopia, Somalia. Second thing he discussed uh, that. Uh, well, Somalia refused to, um, like Somalia refused uh, to continue the mission, a mission that is named UN Political Mission. UN Political Mission is a mission uh, in Somalia going on by the UN. Somalia refused to continue that mission, but Anthony Blinken said that we should continue this mission, and uh, but Somalia did not agree uh, to. Uh, uh, to Ethiopia, that Ethiopian troops should, uh, Ethiopian troops should uh, stay in Somalia by the end of the year. Somalia is saying that Ethiopian troops will have to leave by the end of the year, and um, until they withdraw from the MOU. So, firstly, our MOU is uh, was signed on first January 2024. In January 2024, uh, with uh, Ethiopia signed it with Somalia. But uh, uh, international law states that Somaliland is a part of Somalia, uh, and we all know that Ethiopia is a landlocked country. So, an MU stated that Ethiopia will recognize Somaliland as a country, and uh, so Ethiopia will also give Somaliland shares in its organization in return. Somaliland will uh, give Ethiopia access to its sea. Uh, as Ethiopia is a landlocked country and it has been used in Djibouti sports lately, recently. And uh, also, Somaliland said that uh, Somaliland will uh, let Ethiopia build a navy base in Somaliland. But when this MOU, uh, like when this MOU was public, uh, rather it was not shown to anyone, uh, but uh, it was said that MOU has been signed between Somalia and Ethiopia. Somalia became angry. Somalia said that uh, it, Somaliland is a part of Somalia. Ethiopia, while Ethiopia is signing an MOU with Somaliland, you should ask Ethiopia should ask our permission to sign any MOU or any agreement with Somaliland. Somalia was really angry. Somalia said that we could do anything to stop this MOU. And uh, since for January 2024, till now. Somalia has not talked to Ethiopia. And uh, this MOU was signed in January 2024. And both parties said, Ethiopia and Somalia said, that this uh, MOU will be turned into an agreement soon. But this uh, MOU is still MOU. Rather, there is progress. But uh, still, this MOU. And uh, this MOU is not shown to anyone. But let's see what happens. So now, uh, as I told you first, that uh, Somalia is saying to uh, that Ethiopia, Ethiopian troops have to leave Somalia by the end of the year. So, Jubaland and 
south west uh, is a a clear state of Somalia. They both have given statements about the Ethiopian troops. Juba land uh, president deputy. His uh, name is Muhammad Sayyid Aden. Deputy president Muhammad Sayyid Aden said that uh, Ethiopian troops. We are happy with Ethiopian troops. Ethiopian troops are helping us uh, to uh, fight against Al Shabaab and. Ethiopian troops, uh, they're very helpful to us and we are happy with them. Uh, if you want to remove Ethiopian troops, you have to first talk to us because, of course, we are a state of Somalia. We should take our uh, our opinion also. And Southwest Security Minister Hassan, Hassan Abul Qadir Muhammad said that they're ha- happy with uh, the presence of Ethiopian troops as uh, in Jubaland, Bay, and Bakola, the uh, states, the cities of Bay and Bakola. In Bayan Bagola, 5,000 soldiers are deployed. So, uh, Southwest uh, Security Minister Hassan Abdul Qadir Muhammad said that we are happy with the presence of Ethiopian troops. Ethiopian troops should not leave. They're very helpful to us. And uh, if you want to remove them, you should talk to us first. Uh, because absolutely, we are also a part of Somalia. So, it means that uh, some states of Somalia, they are not agreeing with the uh, decision of Hus- uh, Hassan Sheikh uh, and uh, the speech of Hussein Sheikh. So let's see, uh, will Somalia take a uh, jubilant and southwest uh, opinion or not? So I will update you in coming videos what happens. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.